ashamed of her breasts that she lets a Machiavellian psychopath cut them off. How dare you! But I was not a member of the IRS. Who's that the most in Get a couple of dozen of your mates and get out of that Buckingham Palace and kill the old bag. Big Mike El Capo. Grand Mike El Pepe. Big Mike to Chief. Big Mike Laguna. Big Mike and the Chief. Yes. Hello and welcome to another episode of Big Mike and the Chief. We are joined today by Ahmed Ibrahim. Uh, hello guys, hello, hello. A man, I'm going to read out a <laughs> quote that I've gotten here. All right. From yeah. no less than Pretty Patel. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> she says, Ibrahim is a menace, a man who wants to see society crumble, crumble um, and a man who buys into every silly story that he hears. That's Pretty Patel. And I think that's in regards to her believing you are a conspiracy theorist. Because I know... Oh, that's a conspiracy. Oh, she's criticizing conspiracy. All right. I think okay. so. I All think right. so. Fucking that's just a quote that I grabbed from her office. Pretty Patel. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, about you. So it's not regarding any like immigration issues about yes. the conspiracy stuff. It's the conspiracy stuff. Well, I suppose there could be... Uh, an anti-immigration conspiracy yeah. conspiracy or an undercurrent uh, anti-immigration conspiracy the thing is man like of course she's she would say these things because yeah. she's part of the people the conspiracy theories are criticizing you know so yes. she's, she's, she's getting a bit of, you know defensive so about. just to just to contextualize here so Ahmed is uh, a comedian very very funny uh, comedian on the London circuit Thank but you. more important this is how I would describe Ahmed he's a man <laughs> who views life with x-ray glasses he can yeah. see through like from the film They Live yes what's that now you, I need, to watch, that you need to watch that film They Live huge conspiracy is film. that a smutty film is there it's about a guy who bought them pairs of like sunglasses and when he puts them on he gets to see some people that are aliens. They're like undercover aliens. Like, yes. Steve, like Stevie Wonder. Is Stevie <laughs> Wonder is Stevie Wonder an alien? <laughs> is is that known? I'm genuine here. What is Stevie Wonder an alien? Well, the way he moves his head isn't human. No, the way he's it's, like yeah. just, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That he's, seems like he's kind of beaten. You know, he's dancing to the beat of a, an astral drum, another worldly drum. Mm. He's like a snake coming out of a wicker basket when they're. Absolutely, yeah, his, yeah. his timing, even when he does music, is very kind of Pluto. Mm. It's very from planet Pluto. Mm. But can I ask you something, Mike? Because I know you've asked a couple. Of... I feel like you're a conspiracy guy as well, man. <laughs> you know what? <coughs> now let's let's be real, right? And and yeah. and <laughs> now you've gotten on to something here. Because yeah, I know Mike. He, he's also very funny. I've seen him, you know, around and stuff. And Mike, he's not. He's not the he's not the mainstream. Guy. Like he doesn't. No. He probably goes against yeah. most of the mainstream stuff. Absolutely, and so does Rob. But I yeah, feel yeah. I feel like you, it's more obvious with yeah. you. you well, know? well, I think if we look at Rob, I mean Rob is just so, um, and I wouldn't call I wouldn't call him Rob. I know him as the Chief, mm. as the I chief. think that's what his his parents call him Rob, but they didn't understand him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. When I saw, <laughs> I haven't him, seen my parents, and they know. didn't they didn't understand him. I saw him, I, and I was like, it was something like ancient came across me. I was like, oh, Chief. Chief. Mm. It was yeah, it was a feeling. Yeah. Well, there's a mm. spirit. There's an old spirit, but he wouldn't. He'd be too lazy to be into conspiracies. He's just thinking about where's the pack of Oreos. Yeah, yeah. Where's yeah. the milk? Yeah, I'm yes. a simple man. Yeah. He's not like a proactive guy, but he gets like if there's a big thing. Oh, we should do this thing. Yeah. He will be just. He was. Like, oh, I don't want to do that, but he wouldn't be actively trying to tell people not to do the thing. Absolutely, that's yeah. Rob. He, he but the thing nothing. is, yeah. the thing is, you bro, you you're almost there, man. You should be got get one of these on right now. Yes, but <laughs> and I'm serious. <laughs> this is why we've got you on, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you some stuff. I, yeah, I would like please. to hear some stuff. So, um, okay, first off, you're you're um, Egyptian yes. of descent and born. Like, uh, you were born in Egypt. Oh. Born in Egypt as well, right? Yeah, yeah. And what, what, who made you leave? Who caused you to leave? Was there, was there an affair? Did someone have an affair? <laughs> uh, with, wait, your no, father wait. with your oh oh with your auntie no no, no. <laughs> no it's related to my father so yeah so let me let me let me explain to you bro yes um, you guys are you know from Ireland you know you're not you're not um, English or whatever no one here is no. English so let no. me explain to you something yes 
third world countries, which is what Egypt is, mm. there's no future there. Like, yeah. So like, if, as in everyone's in the present. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's no, read no. the power of now yeah yeah, yeah. everyone like Eckhart is Eckhart Tolle for yes. like Eckhart Tolle down everyone's there. living in the mummy yeah yeah right, everyone yeah. you know everyone's there is no fu- like you is can't is there a past there oh huge but come on huge bro. past yeah. ancient ancient yes mm-hmm. ancient past yes um, but so there's no future in, in uh, any third world country so what my dad did he managed to get a job here yes and he was like let's get the fuck out of Egypt yes and bro, like, like as soon as we left, I don't know if you guys know about like the revolution, Arab Street, crazy stuff happening. Egypt, Egypt now has just gone downhill. So he was it uphill when you were there. <laughs> it was. It was, was like, you leaving bad for no, your no. talent, your talent, and your talent that left. Thank you, bro. Uh, but yeah. I, I believe that Egypt was like just on a steady, you know, just a steady thing. Mm. No, not really uphill. Or Since down. the pyramids, it was ste- like a steady or. No, since the pyra- I think the pyramids was the best thing that happened, and it's right. been, it's Wait, been that was the pyramids. That was like in the eighties or something. Was it? The pyramid. I was no. It's def- af- was it directly after World War Two? The pyramids or no? We need to talk about the World War Two and the aliens in a bit. By the way, but that's oh, bro. Uh, let, me, let me tell you something. Yes, they are related. World War Two and aliens. Uh, uh, pyramids and First aliens. Cousins. <laughs> 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 no, the, there's a link. Yes, believe it or not, there's okay. a link. There's a link between. I do believe the not the, the Nazis. Yes, oh. and aliens. Yeah, but let me just talk about Egypt quickly, right? Okay, go for it. So, born there, mm-hmm. no future, plenty of past, as this guy says. Um, and it was just you know, if you're in, born in any of these, <laughs> he's drinking a Kool Aid, bro. Yeah. If you if, you, if you're <laughs> born in any of these countries, yes, you, you gotta get out there quick. Yeah. If you want to have a life, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I got out there quick, man. And let me tell did you, you something. Did you know that as a baby when you came in? You were just like... Oh, bro, I loved Egypt. I had no did. idea. Bro, when I came here, Whoa. I I don't want to be rude to you guys, but... I, well, no, this isn't us now. No, 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 yeah, but, yeah. but I want to... We're, we're, we're aliens here. We're foreigners in yeah, this yeah, land. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can talk about the origins of humans after a while, but there is a theory that says we're not from this planet. We're not indigenous, indigenous to this you planet. You couldn't be preaching to the choir more, by the way, to the people that listen to this podcast. Most of them live in episodes of police procedural drama Colombo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And anyone who's not in there is in a perpetual dream state. So everything you're saying, they are, well, they're not quite comprehending, but they will be, they'll be jiving mm-hmm. to your frequency. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I feel like they're my type of people. They're absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, sorry, lad, I interrupted. No, no, so, sorry. So I was, yeah. I was just carrying So, I don't know how school was like for you guys, like primary school and second school in Ireland, right? But yeah, so did you guys have beatings, like school beatings? If you didn't do your homework, did you, was it called caning? Did you guys caning? No, I no, I didn't have that. No, I, I yeah, I didn't have that. You didn't have that. No, we had a fella called uh, an older man called Kane who didn't even work there. Right. Yeah, and Kane he would, and Abel, and he would piss on us, and we would call that a caning. Right. Okay. But he lived. That's he lived in the house next door. But that's he, pretty. That's pretty sexual. And there's Michael Caine as well. Yeah, and then mm. there was Mike, Michael Caine, the actor. But that mm. would, th- that was irrelevant. But yeah. But no, we would have got. I would have had teachers. Um, like, like say of, if, you, <laughs> go on. they would like flick me in the ear and be like, "You're fat," and they'd say stuff like that. All oh, right, so more like verbal, abuse, yeah, men- mental mm. gymnastics. Yeah. Right. So here's how it goes in Egypt. Mm. Right? Um, if you don't do your homework you would get it's called caning it's like you know you put your hand out like this right and then the teacher with the uh, with the stick it flings it like this on the palm on the palm and if you're unlucky you do back back and that's this way way tougher this one yeah and it's and you do like so say if you didn't do your homework you've done something bad you get like four whips like this um so this is very common so i went to egyptian public school so this is very common right and let me tell you something bro there is nothing funnier than seeing your best mates get beaten by teachers. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fun. It's hilarious. It's you start laughing and like, and would they scream? Would they ah? So the ah, ah. the pussy ones would do, but like, pussy. The, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 like, but but the yeah. ones who get hit all the time, they'll just they'll firm it. Yeah, Cleopatra's. <laughs> That's what you call the. Oh yeah, the, yeah. yeah the, 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 the lady. Call what? Lady. Explain that comment. Did you call the, the? You just said a word there. The Cleopatra's. That's what you call the. I don't know, it's just like... Like the pussies? Like the pussies, They're yeah. feminine. They're feminine. Yeah. And is that in males. Egypt? Is that, is, is that a thing would you call... Because Chief is a big, <laughs> stupid gay cunt. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, we would he, all, in Egypt, would you have said to him, away, away, we don't want... No, we... we shush, call, would you have so, like, shushed him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, so, 
No, s- no so, so Chiefs, we call them uh, Senorita. Oh. You call Chief a Senorita? Yeah, like Senorita. That's, that's, and obviously the Spanish thing, but that's an s- Egyptian thing as but well. Like if you were Senorita. playing pool with your friends, say, in, in the, let's say, a pool hall, and then Chief went to come in, you'd be like, shh, oh, and then you'd leave a little bowl of milk outside the door for him, like a little cat. <laughs> like a little no? sphinx. Like a little sphinx. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cats. Uh, no, no, no. We but, just. But do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I know. I mean, we, we, we will treat him like a little, you know, like, oh, like we, we, you know, like we stroke his bit. Oh, like oh, this. Yeah, like, yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, like a little that, cat. Yeah. Like, oh. I think I would have liked the caning. He would have loved that. No, the yeah. caning. Yeah. I would have liked that, I think. Yeah. But there was no. Uh, I'm sorry, but let me just, there was no. You know, there's the, the, the oh, caning on, on your arts like on the bottom. There was none of that. Yeah, that's, gay. That's, we, that's gay. They yeah. never done that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In Egypt, it was the hands. Right. And let me tell you something, bro. Every teacher had a like a we- not a weapon but every teacher had a different type of stick mm. and in those schools you didn't want to get whipped by the PE teachers because Wait, they'd whip you with their cocks whoa <laughs> hey hey now oh, why, would you say, why would you say that why would they that's not it's because they're physically stronger no they're no physical education no oh, man. i just went they, PE and pedophile i don't know no, they just, had they Egypt had it's an ancient <laughs> society they, i know they made the pyramids you think they're whipping children with Cox, you wouldn't even be allowed in the country. I know, yeah, I know. You, yeah. yeah, it's you know death penalty down there for yeah. that. Um, yeah. No man, they had metal rulers. Whoa. Yeah. So right. and that hurts more than the wooden ones and the plastic ones. Right. Yeah, why? Why, metals. why? Why did the PE teachers have metal rulers? They just did in my school, bro. And they were for some reason. I know here there's a thing. Oh, PE teachers, you know, they're just like uh, unprofessional and that. But in my yeah. school, they were the coolest. So no one right. messed with them. Did they have like when you say they're the coolest? Did they have like tattoos and like listen to like fucking Avril Lavigne and stuff? No, that's that's haram, bro. Don't what do that. it's, tattoos? It's haram. Would Avril Lavigne if she's she'd set on fire if she stepped into Egypt? She wouldn't. You, they wouldn't have taken her shite there. No, you. You don't, don't just take her there. Like, oh, she was a skater boy. Say, see later. But that wouldn't have fucking ran in Egypt. The thing is, the, like the whole tattoos and stuff like that. They, yeah, we we don't do that over there. That's haram, bro. You know what? Like, yeah, but why? Why are? Why do you think the Westerners like? Look at he's he has polluted his own body. He's, yeah, he has. He's, he's damaged he's God's got, work. He's defiled yeah. himself. Because isn't that the 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 Muslim thing? Is that you you have to leave the world as you came into the world or something, isn't it? Your yeah, body well, has to be the same or something. The Muslim as thing, your cock, and, is it the same size as it was as a baby? Or did he <laughs> grow the same way as everyone else? It, I, I did get a cosmetic thing going down there. You did? Yeah. And did you get a discount? Because you work in a pharmacy. No, <laughs> no. So I got I got circumcised. Yes. Um, um, yeah. And... But, but uh, it, it looked... But, I mean, some people said this before, but it, it just looks nice now, bro. It does. Yeah, yeah. I've seen his cock. It's, yeah, it's your great. cock looks good now. It looks nice, man. I had right. this one. Yeah. I was <laughs> once out, and this lady, uh, she touched my my dick, and she said, "It's so pretty." <laughs> like, oh no! Nice. Like, I wanted a better. I wanted a, a more. Like, oh, it's what? I wanted a better reaction. Can I just can we do, can we delve into what you just said there? Yeah. There was a lady, a woman, out outside of, of in, age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 18 plus. She was 18 yeah, plus. That's it wasn't in Egypt. It was in... No, this was in literally the Weatherspoons in Leicester Square. Uh, right. Okay. And that's a nice little place. It's like yeah. England's equivalent of the, the, the pyramids. It's the Weatherspoons in Leicester it's, Square. It's got the same cultural connotation. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. And there's like kind of, there's a lot of people buried underneath it. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but, but so, can I ask you this? An they, aliens build it. And aliens built it. Yeah. Um, Mexicans. I was but, just gonna uh, say. <laughs> so, can I ask you this? So she, 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 she. Do you think? Did you feel condescended? Did she belittle your your cock? Do you no. think with that kind of like, oh, it's so pretty? Was that a little bit? It wasn't like you, you know when you when a girl sees your willy, you want it like oh, oh like you know like oh this is Ooh. a strong you yeah. know easy like, captain absolutely. you know like a right. big thing. Mm. But like she just said, oh, it's, it's like it's it's nice, it's pretty, yeah. and uh, and I was I know, but it didn't. Did she kiss it? No, she touched it. Nice. Right. Under the table in Weatherspoon. Under the table? Dude, under the table. Bro, I was, I had, I was 19. Did you have it out? Did you just have it fucking... Dude, when I was 19, yeah. I was taking a lot of Xanax, bro. I had the best game in Lewisham. Because you, you were taking a lot of Xanax, so you were very relaxed. Mm. Dude, uninhibited yeah. as fuck. You were asleep. <laughs> no, we're asleep a lot. Of the they time. were asleep. Yeah. No, I'm oh, just oh, oh, hey, 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 now. 
now. This is <laughs> trying to keep me. a bit of law and order. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy now, okay? Easy. You no, don't no, get immunity listening. just because you've got that little hat on. <laughs> yeah, this, right? this is just conspiracy, not for other allegations. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that you said that about your cock, that um, because I did a bit of research before you came on, yeah. and I was saying that the top, um, I was looking at the top um, tourist attractions in in Egypt, and it was like the Sphinx, the Great Pyramids, and then your cock was on that list as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But now my co- he's left Egypt, so now that might be in a I mean, British that's a, museum. That's about that's that's about fucking twenty million a year just walked right out the door. Mm. Yeah, man. The thing is, man. Let me just tell you something okay. quickly about the the pyramids. I'm not a big pyramids guy. Like what? you know, I'm not. I don't. I'm not as obsessed with them as uh, mm-hmm. people here and stuff. Yeah. But the pyramids, bro. Yes. They are built under a star constellation. You know. Okay, right yeah. they are built this is legit this is not conspiracy this is real stuff they're built under the orion belt there's three stars yeah and it's built literally under them and the location on earth they were built like someone knew the circumference of earth and like the diameter they were built in a precise ba ba bang like ba ba bang and they had this uh limestone on the top of them yeah mm. where it reflected the, the light of the star so they were shine so they looked like three stars back in the day then the limestone people stole it limestone cowboys limestone cowboys and they used to stole it and people climbed up the pyramid bro beep if you go uh, have you been to each been to the pyramids no no in my dreams but not in yeah 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 out dude if you go there it's fully vandalized bro. there's there's graffiti you go there there's like fatima like a graffiti said fatima or like love smoke like you know just the type of graffiti <laughs> you see in toilets and stuff swear to god bro phone numbers and stuff yeah like yeah. phone number like x you little know. cocks drawn on it swastikas and big cocks drawn yeah. on it big beautiful Severed cocks. beautiful circumcised beautiful um you keep this going i'm just gonna i have to do something with the camera here very quick Right, yeah. so um, yes, yes. No, I've never. So when did you leave? Um, that was like a Nazi salute. There. When did you leave? Uh, <laughs> when did you leave Egypt then? Bro, thirteen, bro. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, I was right. thirteen. Um, so I'm twenty eight now. Yeah. So I spent you know most of my life there, and mm-hmm. more more of my life here. Yeah. But bro, I came here thirteen, and um, let me ask you this very quick. I do, yeah, go on. Very quick question. Famously, when famously famously when Ludacris was thirteen, he had his first love. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you remember that from the hit classic Baby by Justin Bieber. When I was 13, I had my, my first, first love. Heavy yeah. Can you heavy relate to that lyric? When you were 13, did you, was there a woman that you felt strongly about other than your mother? <laughs> uh, there, there, was, there was one lady, man. Right. And let, me, and let me tell you something, man. When I was 13, yes. I had my first love and also had my, my first heartbreak. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro. No. Okay. Honestly, bro, I live, you know, this is, you know, this is not a conspiracy. This is like real life thing. Yes. Um, this is emotion stuff, yeah? Yes. Bro, when you have your first break of heart, heartbreak. Break of heart. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Bro, you, physically, you feel fucked up. Yeah, like, yeah. You feel like yes. your headache, your... um, Your ass hurts. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah a like, little bit. Can like, feel quite mm, raw down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. You, you're just there. You're like, oh, you, you, got, you feel nauseous. You're like, yes. what... So Your belly button stings. No, have you ever got that? Yeah, yeah. A I'm stinging. A, a stinging I- inside. A sensation inside. inside. Yeah. yeah. So when you were 13, what year would that? Have? 2000. That's 2000. And what? Seven. 911. Right. Well, who? who? What? <laughs> Are we talking is about 911 here? Is that what you're alluding? To? No. No. He no. Was, no. 911 didn't break his heart. That wasn't the. No, wasn't I was in love I with was, the twin towers. No, I was happy when 911 happened. That's I'm yeah. Sorry. That would. I thought that was your first love. Oh, by the way, 911. Mike, you yeah. no no no. Just for re- you, hundred yeah. percent of you don't feel weird about any of that stuff. I of course I do. I'm only human. I'm logical. I have a brain. Of course. Yeah, they found a passport, bro. For real. Right. Well, tell them. Explain this. Explain. Explain that this. No, I'm just. They they, they literally found the guy's passport in the ruins of the t- twin towers, and they said, "Oh, it's the Arab guy." Oh, <laughs> like, I found the um the terrorist, pa- the terrorist, the terrorist passport. passport. Yeah. And that's how they knew it was the Arab guy. So of I'm all the madness, they managed to find the guy's passport. Passport in this uh, fucking flaming... Dude, it was flaming. they find like his toiletry bag and his, you know... Oh, they found that as well? Dax did, wax. Yeah, his Dax wax. <laughs> and his... Um, all of his liquids. Ear trimmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 
Yeah. They, they, and then they, 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 they formed the theory of how they done the, <laughs> the how they done the, the the hijacking, right? That's how they formed the theories. They found what? the little Oh, they found the passports in the in the rubble of the uh, the terrorists. Yeah. Yeah. And um also Tower Seven, never forget Tower Seven boys. If you know then you know. I feel like your audience knows about Tower Seven Tower they Seven. Absolutely do. A lot of them live in Tower Seven. Yeah. Boys, how many towers fell on nine eleven? Four. Nine. Nine. I don't know. We're not counting three. Three. So the twin towers, twin towers and Tower Seven, bro. The Leaning Tower of P- No, that's it. No, no, that's, that's a failed tower. attempt. That's why it looked like. Is that, that why that? Oh, is, is that why? Is that? Is that why it is leaning? We tried it. No. <laughs> 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 what is that tower made out of? <laughs> they didn't have the technology. <laughs> yeah. At the time. Fucking made they out just, of Teflon. They just ran really hard. Out of them. <laughs> yeah. They just blew. <laughs> <laughs> They got like a million, they just just fucking 10,000 fucking. <laughs> they just headbutted the yeah, fucking. Yeah. No, 10, bro, but. Muslim man just, whoosh, <laughs> yeah. just blowing at it and didn't budge. No, bro, but um, honestly, man, the, the tower, so so two fell because the plane hit two two towers. Yeah. Each one plane bang, one plane bang. Tower seven caught fire on two levels. Right. And it which just went down. Controlled demolition. Oh, all three were controlled demolition. We're right. all three going. And hold that thought. We're very. Cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So yeah, yeah. yeah, so the control. Th- so all three were controlled demolitions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So what? So yeah, because how? What's the theory behind Tower Seven? Like, how did that so, catch? So 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 Tower Seven is. Th- yeah. So you know. I, I just have to join you here because. Right. Okay. <laughs> I've just entered your zone, baby. Right. Okay. Right, man. So there's two things about nine eleven that everyone's like, okay, what the fuck was that? It's the passport thing, mm-hmm. and Tower Seven. Okay. Because Tower Seven was not hit by anything. Mm-hmm. It had two floor fires mm-hmm. and it just went down just like yeah. nicely you know how nice it went oh smooth oh, as a fucking smooth as baby's arse yeah, yeah. It just not like this yeah mm-hmm. and it was synchronized bro. it went bang bang, bang. like fucking what? like backing dancers almost in the synchronization like think end sync ba 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 or like what's the like water that, like yeah, a lot like it had yeah. a cute there was a Synchroni- synchronization mm. a synchronization yes synchronicity Synch- that's how he got his tattoo yeah, yeah, about. that was fucking beautiful. Yeah, um, very quickly, a nine eleven sex and the synchronicity, sex and the synchronicity, um, <clears throat> and synchronicity. Um, <laughs> now, what I want you to 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 tell me this just before we get back into nine eleven, when you were thirteen, you had your heart broken. I had my heart broken, bro. And now you you did did, did did you look at it? Your heart was broken by Lady Egypt by having to leave that country, or oh. was there an actual? Now, that was good, what I just that said. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or was it broken by a little she-devil heathen, maybe a, uh, an English woman? It was broken. Lady Egypt, yes. that that br- that heartbreak, I found that later on in life. You know? Right. Yes. As you know, because, you, I mean, I don't know if you guys get homesick, but homesickness, it, it comes in cycles. Yes. Mm. When you leave your country, you get homesick for the first year. Yes. And then you'll forget about it, and then, like, 10 years later it would just hit you hard and you start like crying somewhere you're like oh yeah, i just want to yeah, go yeah, back down the bus it comes in in circles right but i had this the other day just very quickly mm. i was in greg's and they only had vegan sausage rolls mm. left uh, and i just got overcome by the greatest deep sadness and longing and yeah. lost for my home country yeah and just i started crying yeah. i started genuinely started sobbing in the greg's and yeah. The guy behind the counter was like, "We've only got vegan ones," and I just, yeah. I just couldn't even look at him. Right? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Started yeah looking yeah. up videos of like the seven seven bombing and stuff, and yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so you, how does it manifest for you the homesickness? Yes. <laughs> so um, the homesickness, bro, is uh, <laughs> is is sometimes I'll be like, I will just be doing something very let's just say English or white and I'm like bro I need to go home and like hug my mom and just cry a bit you know what I mean can you give me an example of like once I don't, once I was 18 and I was this uh, this girl's birthday party right and by the way just just quick thing when I came to this secondary school I was in a very bad secondary school here here all boys like a, a boy <laughs> a boy secondary Hogwarts. school and yeah. you were a, you were a straight man so this was not ideal this was not ideal because you like girls, and also I wanted to develop. You can't develop game on guys. You got to practice. You can't practice and guys. You know uh, you got yeah. beg the difference. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so then so my sec my sixth form mm. was all. It was a very good sixth form. All rich, white ladies that were just cool and stuff. So so when I was in sixth form, there were so many birthday parties. And dude, once I went to this birthday party, and uh, we were all in the garden, 
and uh, I was just drinking. But they had, you know, they had like wine. Alcohol. You were drinking booze. I was drinking oh. booze, bro. Now, are you, are you, uh, are you uh, a son of Islam or no? A son of Islam. Uh, I are okay. You, are you I've a got faith. Spawn of Allah. I've got, I've got faith. Yes. But I do, I do all the haram stuff as well. But you know, I'm not happy about it. But I do all the haram stuff. You're so having your cake sinning. and eating it. The too. haram is the is the opposite of halal. So haram is the sinning. And by the way, all the Muslim listeners you have, I know you got some happy Eid guys. Um, Eid Mubarak to all the you know the the Muslims. There wasn't many Muslim characters in episodes of Colombo. I thought he was Pakistani Colombo. Maybe there no, was a Middle Eastern Colombo tint to him. Christopher Colombo. Yeah, had a little. You know. Um, he did actually see him. Actually, you were actually right about that. Um, so so yeah, bro. So I was in the. He party. did have like seven wives, didn't he? Colombo. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was certainly he was certainly shagging a lot. Is it seven? He would wives? shag all the he would shag all the dead bodies in the show. Any yeah. bodies he found, he his would only shag. redeeming quality. Yeah, was what <laughs> fucking the dead bodies. <laughs> You thought that was the only good thing about him? Yeah. Let's fuck it up. This is brilliant, bro. I want to come back again. You know? like, oh, like, like, listen, no, listen, listen. And it's, yeah. it, it's getting hot in here. There's, there's a heat, and I think a lot of that is from the, how hard our brains are working. Yeah. And the heat of but the... But, bro, we haven't even... I've got documents We haven't yeah, scratched the surface. We, got Dude, we, we haven't even scratched the, the surface. Well, we yeah. just talked about 9-11. This is, yeah. you know, light stuff. This oh, is, yeah. yeah. That's a layup for these guys. Yeah. Um. So, uh, tell me, so, Haram, so when you say you have faith... I've got faith. Yeah, I've got faith. So, you believe that... <clears throat> Allah was Jesus. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is so, that right? So also, I've got faith. However, I do believe religion is a conspiracy. Now that's, okay. a, that's, no, that's a that's a tricky thing you've just mm. said, bro. Just think about it. Okay. The best form of mind control is religion. Now, Islam is probably the best form of mind control. Right now. It's the largest growing religion, and I feel Andrew Tate. You've got Andy Tate on board. That was Andy a big coup. Yeah, that's a good one. You, you got fucking. Was that a big Sneeko? signing? Was that a big signing, Andrew Tate? Dude, when he turned Muslim, he went to jail two weeks later. I'm just saying. Ooh. I'm just saying. Oops. I'm gonna. You know. That you is guys, a, keep do, do you actually it. think there is a connection? There? No, I do believe when he became Muslim, his fan base blew the fuck up. No pun intended, but he yeah. went massive. Right. It literally went massive, and they and then they got scared of that. I think. I think you've just converted. I think you've just converted another to the tribe. Welcome, bro. With that Andrew Tate Welcome, thing. Welcome, man. Let's all put our. Let's all touch here. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking. It's so right. So so um, so. But Andrew Tate signs as a Muslim. That was a massive coup. Um, yeah, yeah. But just sorry, bro. Just back to the okay, wine story, sorry, man. Yeah. Birthday party, eighteen. The birthday party. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm drinking wine, but here's here's when I realized I'm doing something very white, and I'm, I need to go home and cry. Dude, they had these wine cartons that had taps, like so you, four of them. Yeah. So I'm pouring, and I'm like, I've never seen this before. Like this is mad. And, and was it previously water? No, bro. They, no. They're, they're just wine. They literally you buy them as wine uh, cartons thing. Oh yeah. With a tap. Oh, that's very white. Lady. I was like, and then yeah. and then the girl's dad was drinking with us in the garden, and I was just like, bro, this is outside of my. And he was full. He was fully dressed. He wasn't. He was exposing himself <laughs> to her. Yeah. He was fully dressed. Like it's like you know summer attire. You know, he had a shirt and shorts and stuff. So he was exposing his. his no, he wasn't exposing his willy. No, but he was exposing. A he, w- he was showing the kneecap and oh, yeah. below. And does yeah. that? Did that? Does that piss you off? No, that was like the kind of last on the list. The ankle showing thing. Right. Yeah. But that wouldn't make you be like, what the? Like you fucking you Western whore. You wouldn't yeah. think that. Yeah, because there was way more whores in that part. Like, do you Whoa! know what I mean? Dude, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Dude, were these promiscuous young women? You know what, man? Let me tell you something. Fuck. I had no game. In that sixth form, yeah, but it was a lot of girls fancied me. And where was really? this on? Yeah, because it was an all girls school, but the sixth form was mixed. So I was smart. So I it's a abundance mentality. <laughs> so no, hold on. It was an all girls school. <laughs> so was there a time you identified as a woman or no? No, no, no. It's a uh, like so. It's a all it's a all girls school. Like from year eight to year eleven and twelve. Year thirteen is a mixed. Okay, year. I thought for a second you had maybe had a spell where you were confused, but no. No, bro, I've always identified as a uh, male. As a man. And this whole story that you're... Because it would have been a shame to lose that beautiful penis. 
Oh yeah, of course. Th- that's one. Of, yeah, yeah, that's one of the reasons. Like I, I'm like this is a waste of to the mm. you know. Right, it would ease the competition for you guys, but I still, I just still don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, it would, it would take, it would be a relief for me to know you were out. And another thing about gay guys is, I just remembered, yes. Rob, man, yeah. so many beautiful gay men. Yeah, and, and what happened to? What do you think happened? <laughs> what do you think happened over here? What do you think went wrong? Because I think it's a lack of nutrition. Mm. But <laughs> I think it's stop, it, stop, I, that, stop making that. Like, oh. Throw it, change your face. <laughs> Change your face. I th- I think is the you know that green cap milk maybe you know yeah not the blue cap. one not right the blue one. but this story with the the young lady the women the women the ladies at the party this what yeah was Epstein Prince Andrew is this I'm getting a kind of a okay who was there so this was before Pizzagate so shout out to Alex Jones by the way I just want to yeah, say Alex Jones yeah. Alex Jones ex- exposed Epstein Island in Pizzagate in 2017 when you motherfuckers were like oh we're gonna vote for Hillary and oh, he was saying for Hillary. Epstein was doing things and no one gave a fuck yeah no. this is pre uh, Epstein stuff this was in Chislehurst I don't know if you guys know yes. it's a rich area in South London so this was pre Billie Eilish as well oh yeah 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 right. yeah dude I you know I reckon if we went to school now, yeah, like if we went back, you know, if we all became sixteen again and went to school, I think we'd we'd, that, yeah. we'd all clean up, you know, like as in we'd we'd be very attractive to people, yeah, right now yeah. because Why, we have the knowledge. Is that what you're saying? Is it because we w- yeah we would go back and we would tell them, hey, here's what's going on, and they'd be like, well, thank you, and here's a little treat for yourself. Ah, is it I, that kind of thing? And also legit, and I'm not even trying to like you know you know bum lick you guys or me or anything i think we're just everyone is not cool right now i think we're just we're too cool older people are just become the new generations become less cool and less cool right and we just would be too cool man um that's actually a genuinely lovely thing that you've just said yeah. i'm talking uh, about myself as well but no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're involved in it but I'm you've involved. also included us in it yeah and and i think i can speak on behalf of me and chief thank you very much and we couldn't respect you anymore and we're both massive fans, not only of your comedy, but of what you've got in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Your heart and what you've got in there. Only Chiefs saw it. Like you only haven't. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. But the way he's described it to he's me. He's given a good. He's, and this is not even a joke. Uh, Chief wrote um, a little piece. I, I, would, would you call it a poem that you wrote about his life? <laughs> or would you call it a song? Like a column? It could have a been sonnet. A, a song, but he. he because after he saw your dick, he, he ran home, and of course he was ringing me on the way, and he said, "I saw the most wonderful thing." Yeah. And oh, he became English. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Became a little English. <laughs> your cock actually um, changed his ethnicity quite I, briefly. I yeah. became a little yeah. chimney sweep. He became. He said, "I saw the most wonderful thing, sir, and I, and I need to recount it to you right now." Yeah, yeah. And I've I've written a song, and he he what he the song that he said to me over the phone, which was describing your dick honest to god i broke down on my knees and started puking but in sheer um emotion the the like, description it was like a turmoil of emotion you're like it's, yes i'm straight but this is Abs- messing with me a hundred percent it it was just the, the 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 sheer um it was transcendent and yeah. i in that moment and i've never this is me coming out i became oh, muslim Oh yeah, mm. well, yes. that's, that's salam alaikum, brother. Salam Thank, you alaikum. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. On um, Eid as well. What is he? Uh, I used to go out with a girl called. Can Eid. you? Can you? Do you still have that? Do you still so have the song? I have it buried in here, but I yes. feel uh, I'll, I'll, you, I'll dig it up. So this is the, the song that. Well, no, I don't. I I, I want to. Oh, oh, it's fine. Because I I, I think here. I remember the melody and I can do the backing. Music. Oh, you can do the backing. This right. is an Eid yes. song. Well, I have the guitars over there as well, so right. I could. But you can't play the guitar. I can, can pick up the guitar. Yeah. Can you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the guitar. Oh, okay, right. Quick. Here we go. No, All this right. is this. So this is the song that he 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 wrote and sung to me, and this is what turned me Muslim. And oh, this is the conversion song. This was what converted me. It isn't like necessarily about conversion. It's just about your dick. But oh, but um, it's got like a Muslim element. Well, it's because you're like obviously, as being attached to you, your dick is Muslim. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty. It's circumcised. Yeah, like yeah, and your dick probably like abides by, or is your dick an instrument of haram? It can be used as an instrument for haram. Right. Yeah, and it can be used for instrument for halal. But I'm not gonna lie, guys, and I hope my mom is not watching. At the moment, my dick is 
done way more haram things than halal. But you know, right. it's it's Eden. It's about forgiveness. So I'm just saying. Yeah, and also if your mother is watching, it means she's in an episode of Columbo right now, and she can't <laughs> be saved, man. She's can't it's be too far gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Columbo's gonna get her. Oh, shit. You know, she's probably killed someone. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, but when you say you can use it for halal, what would be using it for halal? Would that be having sex with? a your wife yeah. or like is that that's that's, li- that's the only way however loophole yeah is a piss halal if you're pissing is that halal or no yeah but you in the toilet yeah in the yeah, toilet yeah, yeah. but if you were to piss on say a little person or a little person of color would that be that wouldn't be that would be haram that's not mentioned in the quran so that, they don't mention that's, they that's up for grabs that's up for grabs that's a gray area they haven't mentioned the quran so man. if you do that that's we don't know if that's good or bad yeah do what, do you, what do you think of sandy hook so sandy hook so just a quick this, this was a woman who worked in the canteen in westminster sandy hook yeah so look man was, do you guys know how much alex jones has to pay the sandy hook victims families a no, couple no. of billion yeah <laughs> right yeah like uh it was 800 million then it became 2 billion or something right I didn't look into Sandy Hook, bro. But what I do know is that is what destroyed Alex Jones. Like yeah. that, yes. Because he was censored before then, but that took him out of the game. Right. Right. And um, what? That was um, like Roy Keane's so, tackle on Alpha Inga Halland in the 2002 season. He just, it was a career ender. What, are you a man you guy, bro? Yeah. Oh, that right. was like. a problem with that? I mean, kind of, man. I mean, you guys. Unlucky this season, but I mean... Oh, no, I don't I don't support them since they started losing. Oh, yeah, that's why... I, yeah. I got off the... That's I, why this year I supported Arsenal till the end. Yeah. yeah. No, once Man United stopped playing well and stopped winning things, I immediately stopped supporting them. Because um, fuck that, man. I mean, that's smart, bro. So. I'm a winner, and why not? I'm not going to associate myself with fucking trash. Yeah, no, this is the smart guy. I honestly think, and this is my genuine opinion, always just support the team that's the best at the time. And it's going to be better for your mental health. Yeah, and who has the most right? money? Yeah, like yeah. you get people yeah. that support Charlton and they go to games. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, what are those just, fucking are you, losers? You now? must be the biggest chump. You can choose whoever you want to support, and you're choosing this shit. Like that's like people who like you know like choose as their like husband or wife, just absolute bums. And yeah. You're like, you could have chose anyone. Yeah. And then, hey, man. No, no. I'm gonna well, have to step in that's here. That's sorry. That, that was haram. Mike. No. I could feel some that. people. I could feel a nastiness there. That some, was anti-Muslim. No. Some people can't attract the people they want to be with. You're right. You're right. I, yeah. This guy has game, by the way. For the listeners, he gets he gets ladies right. Mm-hmm. There's some guys he's out there. Half of our listeners. Huh? He's shagged most of our listeners. Well, I did <laughs> wake up one. I I did wake up uh, one time in an episode of Colombo, and there was literally nothing else to do. What except but shag <laughs> most of them. Your mother was there, I'm afraid. Oh, Jesus. But I made love to her and she was the only one I made love to. Not just shag me. No, and the All rest, right, the rest of them it was dirty and loveless and cold. So we should have said this now before you came in that we were very COVID compliant here in in the studio here. We should have asked you for your um proof of vaccination. So I um so I want to tell you guys I'm not vaccinated uh, and I was working on the front lines. I was working on the front lines during the COVID stuff. Yeah. Not vaccinated. Um, I got into many arguments yeah. with working in the Hammersmith Pharmacy, many arguments with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, money with fracas. You would, you would have a fracas. Yeah. And then I started just lying. Right. So they would say, are you vaccinated? I would just said, yeah. And Big, I felt bad inside. Bigger, I felt defeated. Bigger question. Are you vaccinated? Back sack and crack. Uh, this morning, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you have everything in order down for there? This? Everything is, you know, top shelf. Down. Really? Yeah, yeah. Is no, no, don't expect. You gonna expect it or? Bro? You couldn't eat. You, you, you could could had eat your dinner off it down there. Yeah, yeah. You could slightly just cut cheese on it. You know. It's, yeah. And was that for Eid? Um, no. So that was about last weekend. Yeah, I had a I had a date with a lady. Oh, was she a lady of Britain? No, she was a lady of. Canada, Canadian lady, Canada. A lady of Canada. Yeah, but she was weird, man. I took her to uh, a, a gig. She believed in ghosts. No, man. She um, she didn't do any. She like didn't drink, didn't d- do any drugs. And I was like, so like what? She was like, do you know what my vice is? And I go what? She goes like pop. And I'm like what? Like pop music? And she goes like like pop, like soda pop. I just felt weird. Oh, bro. pop is that's in. She drinks Coca Cola, and that's her vibe. So, so that's she her was vibe. like, so she was a baby. So she has diabetes. She was like a baby. 
<laughs> no, she was she a, a grown woman with the mind of a baby? Might be. She was she was twenty twenty nine. Was she? And I'll ask you this because I knew a Canadian woman, and we, I think we might have gone out the same one. Did she, was she wearing a nappy, or did you get that far? I didn't get that far, right. but I didn't see like on. I couldn't see on. I didn't get yeah. Okay. Couldn't make out what was going. Something was going down there. There was some. There was something kind of. It seemed like there was like styrofoam Crunch, or something around. Some crunchies. Her crotch. Stuff. Yeah. Um. So this girl, her pop was her vice. She's like pop, and at that stage, are you thinking, I need to return her to whatever institution she lives in, or? Uh, that, bro, she was very hot, right? Very yeah. attractive. But that's when I realized she was a bit odd. But on top of that, she was like insulting me. What did she say to you? Dude, I took her to this comedy she gig. your hat? Uh, no. No. No, she, uh, she was actually into the stuff. Oh, she's into right. the hat, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, um, the, that, the, that was the honey that... I kind of seduced her with my talks about... Right. Just like how I did with you guys today. Mm-hmm. I brought her into, you know... I would... I, I don't want to be too exaggerate here, but I feel like me and Chief are both in love yeah. with you. Not in that way, but like in love with your spirit and soul and mind. Yeah, man. Live, love, like, lo- love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking. This, this, this is what this is about. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, man. She, she goes to me. <laughs> she goes to me. Oh, this is a, this is a terrible comedy gig because I've brought a poster comedy. Oh, that's a. Uh, it's you great. brought her there on a date. The yeah. poster. Yeah. But that's, that's. um, Dude, that's good. That's that like works a, all the time. That's bro. a dustbin that's on fire. Do you bring her there so that, like, you can like create a thing where it's just like you know what let's just go let's get out let's go fuck like yeah. as in a, like that that's you know what i mean like that this is so bad that it's like hey we let's just go sh- right like, no man listen yeah okay listen mike yeah. no i was uh, upstairs in post there's a bar right mm-hmm. and i was there you know talking you know easing things up like, oh there's a show it was like a, a rant it was a rant Oh, there's a show happening downstairs. I was fucking running the show. Yeah. Oh, a show happened. Do you want to come? Come down, you know. Everyone, not that great. I you do peacocks well. down there sweating. Doing yeah. coke. Five minutes to live. Yeah, yeah. I'd fucking destroy. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, I just, I'll be like, yeah, let's go back upstairs, get a drink. It was that vibe. But you did your set. I did my set and I did very well. What did you talk? What Can you remember what you talked about? Was it more, you were, were you exposing hidden truths or were you... You know what, man? Trivializing uh, I was, your life. You know what? I was exposing certain stuff because I got off stage and she was like, wow, I, I saw a really different side to you. Right. Did you do that five minute set that you do about how nice your dick is? Uh, No, but it had a bit about wanking. So it, it had some really related. But that's human. You're showing her, I'm just like you. I'm flesh and blood. And yeah. I too sometimes cannot stay away from my own genitals. Bro, looking back here, I don't think she was flesh and blood at all. That no. Lady. Right. Lizards. No, just pop and on a serious note, and we are going to get to your song. Yeah, but I, I feel um, like we haven't wrote. even. Bro, we haven't. Scrapped. We haven't. You said you got receipts. Here. I got. I got. I got the documents. Okay, what do you, what do you got? So, so we're going to have to all get right. to them because we've already hit the time. <laughs> we but, yeah, serious? we have. This oh, is this okay, is no, nice. bro. But this I'm, is I'm a cracker. Right. <laughs> but um, this. I mean, I, I don't think, and genuinely, I don't think I've ever been more changed from the start of a podcast. Yeah. Than now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I believe. So, I, I, we'll talk about this after, but I think we are, you know, would like if you moved in. Yeah. Um, Fucking Pete. Pete's dead. We yeah, get rid of yeah. the, one of our roommates fell off a roof, and that's this is not a joke. He's in St Mary's Hospital right now, Pete. And I'm gonna pretend I had nothing to do with that. Yeah. yeah. Um, nothing's a coincidence, and nothing happens by accident. Am I right? You've got some documents. I've got some documents. Right. And this, um, these are things that. Uh, would interest the public and these are things that that, ex- that expose the, the matrix well here's the thing they've already been revealed but the public is so asleep they didn't notice it wake up right. you pigs they didn't give a fuck do you man. have them on you physical what i've got i've got them on me yeah i've got them on right, me but scrolls yeah so we, are we do, do you have a bit of time yes yeah, 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 let's yeah, go, yeah, for, we'll go it. for it yeah, all right yeah. man so just quickly um yeah yeah, so oh. I, I just want to say quick. So do you, what's your t- do you guys know anything about aliens? Because um, I I know the ones that used to be in the Simpsons, Zag and yeah. Zag, those Zag two guys. Like, um, aliens in the Simpsons. But, By the way, but they were constantly coming down, and they say I seemed to they they struck me as they 
there and real. That's a real thing. All right, mm-hmm. just quickly, by the way, just quick tangent. Simpsons predicted the submarine thing. If you know, then you know. Oh, you, I saw that you on saw there. That, guys. I saw okay, that Simpsons yeah. is a very um, Illuminati prophetic show. show. Yeah, prophetic. It's called predictive programming. They know what's happening. They let little easy, you know, because they believe in karma and they want to show you stuff before they get yeah. judged. I also thought that Mo knew a lot. Mo. Says like. Yeah, Mo says yeah, like yeah. behind the bar. I also thought he, he was holding a lot back. But anyway, mm-hmm. go. All right. So, guys, so with the aliens, um, documents that they suggest, it all started in a Second World War. Okay. okay. 1942, precisely. There was no documents of like UFOs or aliens or anything before. 1942, it started with the Nazis. And this is very interesting. And yeah. I want you guys to think about this because I read this stuff and I'm not sure, is this true? Are they messing with me, you know? Do you want to think about it now? Okay. Or like as you go on? No, no, no. Are you thinking about now? Try to no, no. think about now, Chief. Well, One, two, the... three. Okay. You, okay. All right. So, okay. Okay. blonde lady, her yeah. name is uh, Anna uh, Vo- Volvine. Berosh. Anna Berosh. No, no, her name is uh, Anna Volvine, I think. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to quickly... Uh, Volvine, is that, a, is that a vaginal? Is that a, va- a reference to the vagina or no? Uh, no, no, sorry. Her name is... Um, her name is... Pat uh, Butcher? Majestic 12. Oh, sure, I can't even get up there. I think they deleted the documents. Okay. Oh, no. Maria Orsic. Maria okay, Orsic. So, right. Maria Orsic. Yeah, Maria Orsic is German lady, right? Right. So she got contacted by aliens, right? But guess what? The aliens were blonde. They were two tall Aryan blonde aliens. They got they, in, they went into her DMs. Yeah. Yeah. They were Nordic aliens. Okay. What? That's this weird. is what she yeah. said. She was a contactee. Contactee, someone that you know. So this is happening in Germany, 1942. German civilian lady gets contacted by blonde aliens. Then Hitler yes. gets contacted by the reptilians. I don't know if you guys have heard that. You know, the lizards, what the queen was. Right. That type of alien. The queen was a lizard. Is that correct? And the king is a vampire. The one right now. King Charles Vampire. He's the <laughs> um, grandson of Vlad the Impaler, uh, who's Dracula. He was based on the Dracula. Uh, is, that, is that... Are you being serious? I'm being 100% this, this serious. Of Vlad the Impaler. King Charles... And what are the corgis? Are they just corgis? What are the Irish people? The, the dogs, the corgis. Are they? Is that just? Are they? Do they do what they say on the tin, or are they something else too? Um, like, are they like so the pelicans con- or so the the conspiracy about dogs yes. is that dogs are animals. However, cats might be something else. And as an Egyptian, you guys we, have you've kind of got a thing with cats. We kind of fetishize them, yes. Like you're kind of in cahoots with cats, and you've kind of well, you, you pool your resources together. Well, they look after us. Okay. Yeah. Look. Um. So, um, King Charles is legit the grandson of Vlad the Impaler, descendant of him, who is Dracula's baby.